So now we're going into grand finals. Hey, Star Rich, what's good? Good to have you. We just got down to analyzing grand finals. We're just about to talk about this. All right, so bad dog mirrors. Yeah, Yeah, both players are in the chat. <laughs> they're they're looking back. Okay, so third strike. Uh, very interesting to hold back in that situation. This is where this is where dashing. Like, this dash up was was a mistake, right? Just just on round start, I think a lot of interactions go wrong. Star Ridge does a jab, air reset. Very nice, right? This is nice, right? Jab, and since he goes for overhead, now if, if he had gone for low, I don't think this would have worked, but since I guess you were guessing overhead, you jab, and you get him out of it, which is really, really nice. I think if it would have low, if it were a low, it probably would not have worked. You don't even have to block, just go for jab, right? Cross up, overhead, burst out, yeah, don't take damage. No follow up on that. Might have been a miss input. Dang, gets the opening again. Jump in heavy. Got a burst. This is a good pickup. Oh, that is really good. That ground pickup. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't. You bad dog players are like on crack or something. So I don't know what you expected here for this to work. But it's this is what killed you, because <laughs> this has a lot of recovery. He rises. And you're still in recovery. Yeah, please explain to me what happened here. Because I'm really interested. Because I don't... If you input 1S, you get 4S. Not 2S. Down back counts as back. Okay. But, like... I don't know if you had the gravity scaling here for that to work. I don't know if that... That work it would have worked. I really don't know. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it now. You went for. Uh, okay, I understand. So this was. Got it. Okay. So you had one S. You had down back, and when you wanted just down. Okay. Understood. You wanted down special, and you got back special. For those who might not understand numpad, that's actually really interesting. In every other game, down back output inputs count as crouching, but not in FOA. Yeah, that's actually true. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's funny as hell. And yeah, you get punished for that. Free. That's actually really cool. See, that, that's the interesting analysis of having players in the chat, right? Because you can ask them, hey, what happened? <laughs> Uh, let me go back on that. I'm sure they did. Overhead opens up, okay, but like, burst out and then what happens? Yeah, you dash up in his face and get hit, yeah. Yeah, that would be an interesting thing for them to change, right? That's, that would be, that would be a pretty important change, but it would, might be better for it to be in line with other games. Overhead eats them. Perfect. I was gonna say, that I'm gonna think. Of, I was thinking about like going through the cast and just kind of coming up with suggestions for balance changes to send to the devs as like a document because I think there's a lot of things that we could change, like potentially. But you know, it'd be good to have it all in bulk. So if any, you know, hit up that suggestions channel or something. I, I was thinking about just like really evaluating some of these characters. Okay, lock punish. Yeah, it might not be intentional. Oh, look at this damage. Wow, okay. He's gonna burst? Oh, that was a very punishable burst. It was too late. You gotta have clean inputs, that's what they said. If you if you're down backing and expect down, you're wrong. Oh, disgusting. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> yeah, wind that back. Oh wow, third strike hello, look at this damage. Wow, okay. He's gonna burst. Burst. Alright, so what happened oh, there? Wow. Overhead, he's in block stun. Jab, heavy, 
First comes out, and he's blocking. Yeah. <laughs> he's blocking. <laughs> that is so funny. And yeah, he's blocking that. I think it's just the startup. Like, this has startup, as you can clearly tell, right? Like, he's already recovering by the time this hits. He hits. This hits right here. <laughs> That's so funny, yo. I swear. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it knows. I mean, the startup of the burst just takes too long. So you just get hit. Well, I guess. Well, you, you block, rather. Yeah, you just. He blocks the burst because it just takes too long. That's what, that's what I'm saying. When I, when I talk about the power of stand heavy on bad dog, I'm talking about shit like this, right? Like, he just goes. He just fishes for it. He just says, all right. He just throws it out, expecting something to happen. He's like, yep, I, at worst, you're going to block this or you're going to get hit. And you get bursted, and he's holding back. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, burst is definitely not unblockable. Don't think that. And this is that disgusting kill. Look at how much damage that does. How much health do you have before this happens? 98%. This is exactly what happened earlier in the tournament. Right, somebody else got hit by this. But with a different starter, too. The key difference, though, is that in the previous instance where... Yeah, exactly. In the previous instance where jammed it, the starter was overhead. But, but not here. This was like... Just a standing heavy that does it. This character has sick damage. This character has, like, Marvel damage. Pick up! Got Boom! Oh, that was disgusting. All right. <laughs> look at that. If you want to look up, if you want to learn how to do this, go to Starich's Twitter timeline. Why do you ground bounce? Let's look, let's see it there. You mean like right here? Somebody should look into the properties of this. Right, it's very possible that this gives you ground bounce when it shouldn't. Pick up. Oh, oh, you got me there. Yeah, I really do think that move has some interesting uh, properties oh, that he probably figured out. He did the thing. Yeah, no, but that's interesting. I really think it was that special that did that. I mean, to be fair, you were really high up in the air, but like that particular ender. Everything in this game is practical. Oh. Oh. Super, once again, do a ton of damage. Third strike, very smart oh, read. Nice. Okay, burst, burst out. Like not out of Overhead eats you alive. I don't think this is an optimal start. This is a lot of damage. So. Yeah, no. yeah, drops it. What a drop. What a drop. Oh, and he's just he's just waiting. Just even Boom. Use it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's very possible that it's a bug, right? But, um... Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. When I talk about I not going for your combo right away, just look at look at Starridge right here. He knows that you're going to block. He doesn't want... His, his objective here is not to get a hit confirm into a combo, right? His objective here is just to open you up and just make you do something unsafe, right? Like, he's just staggering jabs until you're obviously not going to block. So he goes light, crouching light, heavy. Yep. And since he knows it connected, he goes for record. Right He's got meter. He can just kill. Which is very fast. Use it. And for the record, if you ask me, why is Bad Dog better than Power Hook Dog? And it's this special. He's got meter. He can just kill. That Rekka is ridiculous. It has some of the best air pickup. Like it keeps him in the air for the entire duration, right? It it doesn't really apply a lot of gravity scaling. You can confirm it. It's all you know. Rekka hits are obviously great, and it just. Good, does good damage, right? Jeez, two, two up already for sorry. Sorry, here to take the take the prize. Yeah, confirming off light is what you want to do. He's gonna go buy himself a pizza with that money. Pizza time. But I really think that Rekka is what sets him like apart. Okay, good overhead read. <laughs> Obviously, really high up in the air. See how see how during that Rekka, you barely the character barely falls to the floor, right? Like it's such a strong tool. 
And once again. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, that character doesn't need to do 50% to, doesn't need to try too hard for 50%, so, you know. Yeah, Power Dog is fun, but, like, that thing is... You know, that, that Rekka is way better than the one Power Hook Dog has. Okay, blocking correctly. Super. Get an Oki. Block low, overhead mix. Very unsafe special. Might have been misinput. Oh no, this is, this is a lot of damage. Okay, burst out. At this point, I'm popping off on the voice. It's one touch. This is one mix. One unsafe move. <laughs> Oddly enough, one touch for both characters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, third strike does Okay, right. good jab check. Kill. Oh, Overhead. Let's go! Get that pick up. Okay, burst. We got him first. Oh, trade. So lucky. Overhead. Overhead, once again, no meter. No meter. Third strike is coming up on that meter. Okay, yeah, side oh, switch. Strike. Very unfortunate. You got meter here. Oh, burst, burst, burst. Okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. So that side switch was really unfortunate. Oh, this chip, chip is a problem here. Yeah, the chip is absolutely and I think at this point it was just a chip kill, right? Because like you do that, it's very unsafe. He's staggering, staggering. Oh, yep. pressure takes it. <laughs> that's all you needed. Stab pressure, jab pressure, and do you know that's that's one of the things that Bad Dog does better than other characters because his jab reaches so far that you can do just like stagger light, and you, you'll still stay in their face, right? It's really interesting. Um, it's, you know, it's one of those situations where the character obviously has a lot of strong tools, but, like, his damage needs to be better. What's up, you boy? Uh, his, his damage could probably do with being a little less fucked up, right? Like, I don't think there's anything too dishonest about Bad Dog. His overhead is obviously really strong. But like, chip is a problem here. Yeah, chip is he does a lot of damage. So maybe nerf his light jabs. Those are light jabs. No chip. Oh, jab. Let me see that again. Ooh, those are light jabs. Those are light Why do you? Okay, yeah, you go for jab pressure. Yeah, I mean, this is a common tactic in like tag fighters too, right? Like where you'll see the, you'll see this happen in like Dragon Ball, for example, where somebody's just you know staggering light. Staggering light, staggering light, staggering light, and boom, right? Just waiting for you to go for counter hit. So, a very smart play. <laughs> Jam looked like he lost his morale when Star just beat him. I mean, yeah, Star Rage is sick at this game. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. He's obviously a very good player. I think that this, is, this Grand Finals is difficult to judge because both players played it really well, right? When I look at this, when I look at this set, the one big thing that st stands out to me is the fact that Starish does something that nobody else in tournament is doing. He just runs up and he jabs, right? He is not expecting to get a combo starter, right? He is expecting to be in your face and to be annoying, right? Like his game plan at any given time, exactly. See, run up, jab, right? That is not something every player is used to doing. Everybody wants this. They want this situation. Overhead, Overhead. Again, Vissarich no meter, doesn't care about no that, meter. right? Like, what he wants oh, is he wants to start generating oh, advantages for himself. I've seen that, all tournament. Oh, burst. that was a really good cross-up. Burst, burst, burst. Okay. burst! Okay, good job, good job. <laughs> it's so close. Oh, there's yeah, when I look back at it, like, yeah, that autocorrect sucked. Chip is a problem. When I look back at it, I think this is one of the things that he does that nobody, no other player does, right? Just stagger lights and not overcommit, right? That's something I see a lot uh, prior to this set, is players overcommitting. Um, especially Mighty Fox, because Mighty Fox's specials are you know, extremely unsafe. Exactly. He's creating offense. He's creating, he starts generating advantage for him. This is, like, if you go watch, like, I don't know, Goichi in Dragon Ball, or, or Maybe Kazunoko, maybe, right? Like, you'll see that they just stagger jabs, right? In, in a tag versus game, they're not going for, like, crazy combo starters. They're just staggering, waiting for somebody to do something. At that point, all he needs to do is jab, and he can block if somebody tries to do something, like, super unsafe at him. Or he can go for counter hit. So it's, you know, very interesting.
I can go do 2L 5H after this to make myself frame neutral. I mean, yeah, it's good to it's good to chest frame advantage in situations like this. Need three jabs at poise blank to give yourself the spacing for safe 5H. All right, it's cool. See, stuff like that is interesting, right? Because you know, since this game lights chain into themselves, you can just kind of do whatever. Um, <laughs> you learned, but at what cost? You got fifteen dollars off of this friggin' tournament, okay? Don't complain. You got fifteen dollars. Being able to cancel specials after block normals was a huge change. Yeah, yeah. It's not something you see every day, but it um, it's interesting, right? I think that. You know, canceling specials after block normals is still kind of unsafe in general. I don't. I mean, you could do it on Bad Dog and his Rekka, but I don't know if you'd want to do that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> very obviously, really good play.